Jesse. Jesse, could you come yeah, and let me sit down, down, please? Well, we had to buy all that candy last year. Yeah. Um, Jesse keeps getting in my room. Yes, between that and the Girl Scout cookies, we're all going to gain 10 pounds. Julia, could you help me get your sister to sit down and eat breakfast? She keeps going in my stuff again. Well, maybe if you sit down, she will eat a breakfast. I'm not hungry. I've got to go to school. I work tonight. Hey, Julia. Hey. Could I borrow your calculator? Yeah, sure. Ah. There you go. Just make sure I get it back. Oh, OK. Later. I'm so glad you wrote it on with Kevin. I know, he and Steve get along so well. It'll be perfect. I know, and I told Steve to make reservations at Alta Cucina. Um, right now it's just the four of us going, but do you think we should invite anybody else? What about Julia? Does she even have a date? No, she's got in her head that Eric's going to take her. Well, somebody needs to talk to <coughs> her about that one. Well, it's not gonna be me. Well, we're her friends, and I don't know, it's just obvious that it's not gonna work out. Yeah, well you realize if we tell her, then we're gonna be the racist one. Right, so, no Julia? Totally. name isn't Wright, is it? Are you related to the Wrights, the ones up on Depot Street? No. You're sure? You look so much like my friend Sandra. She was my next door neighbor, actually. Lived right next door to me. <laughs> You're a dead ringer for her. Weird. I don't look like anybody around here. Go back home and go to bed, and I'll be back to pick you up in about an hour or so, okay? But I want to go to school, too. First, kid, I have to go pick up the colored kids and take them to the school and drop them off. Then I'll be back and pick up you and the rest of the white kids. They'll wait for you there, and the same way on the way out. I'll bring you back home, then I'll go back and pick them up. You got it? See you tomorrow, kid, but not so early, okay? But when do the other kids come home? The colored kids? Oh, I'm going back to pick them up right now. Thank you. Are you okay? Fine, thank you. No problem. I'm Julia. Raymond. Well, don't miss your bus, Raymond.
What's up? What's up? So, uh, prom, you have to make the right entrance. As if you know. Oh, I know. I got it all planned. Me and my girlfriend here, we're gonna dance at the right song. Thanks, Julia. Huh? Wake up, what do you think? About what? When you walk into prom, what song do you wanna hear? Julia. That girl alone. Yeah, whatever, Julia. It's not your fault. You know you got whiteness in you. For you, it'd be T. Swift or something. Where you going? I'll just play. Julia, right? Julia, who looks like Sandra? Yeah. When's this bus supposed to be coming? Uh, in a hurry. I don't want to be late for work. <laughs> Sandra loved Hershey bars. Where's work? Pals in the mall. I did fast food when I was a kid. Worked at a drive-in joint, sort of like Sonic. It was fun. It's okay. I mean, I can't wait to get out of it, though. Out of Pals? Out of Pals, out of Jonesboro, out of Tennessee. Big ambitions, huh? It's just too small around here. I don't really fit in anywhere. Where are you going? As soon as I save up enough money, I'm going to New York. I know it's a cliche, but a city that big with all those people, I've got to fit in somewhere. What about your parents? They don't know. <laughs> so what are you going to do, just up and let out once you get the money? Yeah. Well, what about school? They've got high schools up there. Do you know anybody up there? Well, let me know when you're going. That'll give me a good excuse to call my daughter. Your daughter lives in New York? Yes, Sandra's lived there 12 years. Sandra, like your friend. Yeah, right. She's a smart girl. How often do you get to see her? It's been a while. I think that's yours. It is. I've got to go. Have a good night, Raymond. Likewise. Do you want to tell us about that? Is this what it looks like, Julia? What it looks like is you're planning a trip. So you're going to go to New York? Is that it, Julia? I don't know. Sure is a lot of planning for I don't know. Whatever. You don't get it. Get it? You're 16 years old. Yeah, and I need to get out of here. Julia, what's going on? You just gonna run away? Just forget it. I don't wanna talk about it. We're not forgetting it. And you're not going to New York to live by yourself. Look at me. I don't fit in here. I need to go. Don't you get it? Do we get it? Seriously? Do you know what it was like being an interracial couple here 20 years ago? We get it. And it's better now. For you, maybe. I mean, have you ever even thought about what it's like for me? Or what about for Jesse? She's gonna have to do the same thing. Whatever. Where are you going? Come Julia? back here. I'm not going anywhere. Raymond! Hey, Raymond, where are you headed? Just treatment, just like always. Do you mind if I go with you? Suit yourself. Don't you have work? Everything okay? No. I just had a big blowout with my parents. They found out? Yeah, I'm not going to New York. Why do you want to go so bad? Everything. Well, that covers it all. School's a disaster. The guy I like isn't interested. No accounting for taste. No accounting for race. My friends don't think he'll go for me because my dad's black. That's crazy. 
My black friends don't think I'm black enough. I don't really fit in with my white friends. I don't really fit in anywhere, especially not around here. Sounds to me like you need some more friends and you may be surrounded by bigots. I can see why you want to move on, but for what it's worth, I, I think you're choosing the easy way out by trying to run away. The easy way out? Things need to change around here. It, it started, but it, it's still going on. You can help with that. Make a difference with the people you know, the people in your family, and the, the friends you have whose minds aren't closed. You remember my friend Sandra, the one you look like? Mm -hmm. She and I couldn't even ride the same school bus when we were kids. Rules and attitudes like that hurt a lot of people. A lot of people took off. Well, what about Sandra? She stayed. She's retired now. She fought back, went to school. She had a long career as a school teacher at University High. Probably made a big difference in the lives of a lot of kids. I don't know. Where are we going anyway? I've got outpatient treatment. You don't have to come along. I'm coming. Hi. You're here with Raymond Woods? Are you ready? Are you family? Is something wrong? It's just that he's been coming here a long time and he's never brought anyone with him. What's wrong? So you're family. I'm his daughter. He shouldn't have told you. Why haven't you told your daughter, Ray? Have you called her? I did this to myself, you know. I drank myself here, ruined my marriage to Sandra's mother. I don't have any right to ruin Sandra's life, too. How long has it been since you saw Sandra? Been a while. Years? I've been out of her life for too long, and now I'm too sick and old. It won't be much longer now, anyway. You sure you wouldn't care for something? I shouldn't either, but I figure, why not? Sandra loved him, and now it's the only thing I can stomach. You can't run away like that. Am I in trouble? You only have one more year of high school. Your mother and I have been talking, and there's a lot of colleges out there in the big cities like New York and everywhere, and your grades are good. And your money's yours. We're not going to keep it. But if you want to go to college, we'll help you with that. But if you're leaving for the right reason, we'll help you with that, too. OK. But the right reasons don't include leaving because you feel like you don't fit in. Go on inside. Are you going away? Apparently not. Hey. You know what? What? I think we can do anything we put our minds to even around here. You know what I mean? No. Okay. Hey, Julia. Hey. Can I borrow your calculator for pre-cal? Yeah, um... Here you go. I'll bring it right back. Okay. Right after class. <laughs> okay. Hey, Eric? Yeah? Would you want to go to prom with me? Yes, of course. Good. I would really like to go to prom with you, actually. Why didn't you ask me? I've been chickening out. I thought you were already taking someone. You were chickening out? I've been asking you for your calculator the past two weeks. I have a calculator. So I had Kevin check on the limo and... <laughs> 
Okay, Julia. Hi, guys. Hey, are you going to prom? I am. I'm going with Eric. Eric? Eric? That's the one. Well, it's about time you two got together. You know you only have a week or two until prom. Julia, how was your day? Good. Better. Good. Listen, I want to make a deal with you and Dad. I just need about $200 out of the money I've earned. Julia? It's not like that. I'll explain everything. Where have you been? I was starting to worry. I've been having one of my bad days. You'll need that. I think you should go on a trip, Bray. That's your daughter's address and phone number. You need to call her. Don't lose this. Trying to track down someone named Sandra Woods in New York is not easy. There's like 30 of them. There's also enough in there to get you a bus ticket there and back. You need to go see her. I can't. You can, and you should. I want you to. It's been so long. What if... You're running out of time. This is your chance. You could take the easy way out and not call her, but I don't really think that's your style. I, I can't take a gift like that. It's not a gift, it's a loan. I know you'll pay me back. I think that's you. It is. I don't. Thank you. Go on. Tell her Julia, who looks like the original Sandra, said hi.